oh my goodness what's up guys it's amber welcome back to my channel so um are you guys in your comfiest clothes are you ready for a little bedtime story a really weird version of a bedtime story but you guys are always asking why i'm still single amber you should have 10 boyfriends even though being single and hot is my brand, truth is I can't even find one. <laughs> I am genuinely convinced that no one has a funnier dating life than me, so I'm gonna spill the tea on myself and tell you some of my wildest, unfortunately for me, true <laughs> stories. Cause it's so funny! Honestly, I couldn't even make it up if I tried. And while my love life is certifiably a disaster, it definitely makes for some great stories if I do say so myself. <gasps> Did I just turn into a cartoon character? Well, that seems like a good way to start the story. <gasps> Guys, cartoon me is so cute. Look at that hair. Oh, I can't even do that with extensions. If you like this look, comment below. And oh, look at George. Oh, my sweet little honey butt. Who's my perfect little king? <laughs> hey, stop that. George. Uh, I'll deal with that later. I know you guys came here for a bad date story. So here we go. It was January. Whew, this kind of tickles. So for Christmas last year, I got my sister Alyssa a really fancy dinner. Like the fanciest dinner money can buy. You know, the type of place that has 10 forks and I don't know what to do with any of them. We're busy having fun, pretending to be princesses and not understanding literally any of the food. When one waiter comes over to bring bread and he is so freaking hot. Yes, that hot. Even Alyssa was like, damn. This guy was undeniable. 6'4", man bun, chiseled body, pretty face, blue eyes. Ugh. Like, are you Prince Charming? Are you Harry Styles? Are you Harry Styles as Prince Charming? And he weirdly became even hotter because of, you know, the bread. Ah, uh, the one food on this table I recognize. I looked at Alyssa and she agreed. He was definitely the Giver. Oh, wait, you don't know what that means. Okay, so me and my sister have a secret language. Let me explain. <clears throat> the Giver, the one super hot man you see like every seven years. I don't know if you've noticed, but hot guys are like going extinct. But every now and then you see one who just makes you stop and stare. It's like a comet sighting. Don't ask me to explain how he came up with the word diver. It's a long story and I'll put it in another video. Also, I know you all have secret languages with your friends, so just roll with it. So this waiter was definitely the diver and I just kept staring at him and he thought that meant I just wanted more bread. So eight courses into this, I am invested in this man and I needed to talk to him. So the last time he brought bread, I was like, wow, he is so hot. <laughs> You know, I'm not giving advice. I'm just telling it like it happened. But you know, I guess it worked because he came back with more bread and our $5 million bill with his number on it. I've blurred out his name for privacy. Just kidding, I can't fully remember it. But let's call him Guy, short for the guy word. And you know, I have zero chill. So I texted him legit the second we left. And get this, he texts me right back. All this flirty stuff, like, you're so hot, I wish I could've talked to you, but I was working, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, I wanna take you out for brunch tomorrow. Wow, the turnaround on this thing was incredible. Usually it's like pulling teeth to get a guy to commit to a day and time. But with restaurant Giver, whose name I can't remember, things were just different. <sighs> He even chose a rooftop restaurant I love. Ugh, responds to my text and picks a good date spot? And brunch? Wow, marry me yesterday. So the next day, I realize I'm feeling nervous because I haven't seen him in the light of day. But he shows up looking like, like, bad boy, boy band, suave. Ah, oh, my favorite man aesthetic. I swear his eyes were freaking glowing in the sun. Like, damn, go off, sis. So we sit down and he actually has stuff to talk about. And yes, has stuff to talk about is my standard these days. The bar is so low, you guys. Like, here's basic human decency. 
And then here are my standards. They're low, but guys are literally out here trying to dig even lower. Like, how are you not meeting the literal nothing I expect of you? Like, if you can relate. So yes, a guy who talks in complete sentences is a catch, in my opinion. But I spoke too soon, because two hours in, he hadn't asked me anything about myself. Like, I literally said zero words. He doesn't know where I work, where I grew up. He doesn't even know if I'm, like, psycho. Which I am! But he didn't ask. And that, my friends, is a red flag. Here's the thing. Other people run away from red flags, but I run towards them. I'm like a bull. And crazy men are my matador. <laughs> anyway. By the way, the whole time he's talking, there's these two vloggers at the table next to us because, you know, this is LA and that's normal. And they're all like, oh my god, check out our flex seed grass fed cruelty free pancakes. And the guy returns to me and goes, ugh, I can't stand people like that. Can you imagine being so vapid that you have to put your whole life on the internet? Disgusting. Um, <laughs> wow, come for my whole life, why don't you? Maybe you'd know you're on a date with a YouTuber if you literally asked me anything! But I decided to just not tell him. It felt funnier that way. Plus, he was talking so much, I didn't even have a chance. Honestly, I kind of started to, like, tune him out. But then I heard him say something about... Jail? Um, prison, actually. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, how'd you end up in jail? So I'm expecting a silly story about trespassing or something, but he goes, I was in for uh, bringing a knife to school, armed robbery, grand theft, and uh, oh, I also used to deal drugs. Oh man, I think that is actually too many red flags. Should I go? Finally, he's like, let's get out of here away from these terrible vlogger people. And, you know, oh god, yes, <laughs> please get us away from the vloggers. So we get outside, and all of a sudden this middle school-aged girl, like, pops out, and she's like, <gasps> Amber! Amber! I love your YouTube videos! Can I take a picture with you? And Guy's just standing there, dumbfounded, like, uh, what was that? And I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I make YouTube videos. It was seriously the most iconic moment of my life. And then he goes, Oh shit, ma. I didn't know it was like that. So eloquent. I have great taste in men. I know. Anyways, I went home and I'm assuming he won't want to see me again after all that. But he starts hitting me up all the time. And I'll be honest, I did consider it. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. And all those things. Well, I guess it's back to the drawing board. Look, I know men are crazy, and so am I, but to be honest, I still have the tiniest part of me that's still holding out for love. And I guess in the meantime, I have George! Totally the guyver of my apartment. Maybe it's because he's the only, like, guy in here, but I don't think so. Mwah. You wanna say bye? Yes, please. From me and me till next time. Ready? XO. <laughs> that was so cute, you nailed it. High five. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah.